Today on this beautiful day, we're gonna do some action canine photography. Oh, oh, I, that way, that way, that way. Oh. <laughs> In order to properly capture these action photos, you need to have your camera set properly. First off, let's start with your shutter speed. It's going to have to be fast to freeze the action. Anywhere from 1 1600th to 1 2000th of a second to freeze the moment the dog captures the ball in flight. I set my camera to autofocus continuous. This way when I press the shutter release, no matter where the dog goes, the camera and lens will continue to refocus as they move through the scene. And in this case, I was using the Tamron 28 to 200 for FE Sony mount. All right, good catch, Jersey girl. Next is my frame rate. When I press the shutter release, I need the camera to shoot multiple frames continuously. I set my camera to continuous high to get the most amount of frames within a second. Sometimes you think a big toss is gonna to create the most action within your frame when actually the simple toss close up to the dog will create a really dramatic image. Look at that. All right. Oh yeah, that's great. By being close to my subject and using a wide angle lens helps me create a very dynamic image. Remember, when shooting action canine photography, use a wide angle and get close to your subject, use a fast shutter speed to stop the action, and use a fast frame rate so you don't miss the moment. 